where where did I go? I guess from March, there's there's a lot to unpack here. Um, Get to 20, man. Fight this shit. Come on. Fight this shit. Hips, hips. There you go. Good. Could have done more. There's a lot to unpack here. Um, so where where did I go? I guess from March. There's um, March, April. So let's get into April. The the first thing that was going on that people are not aware of is we have outfitted in a lot of gyms. 50 to 60% of our sales were, was strength equipment. So there's a lot of small gyms, bodybuilding gyms, powerlifting gyms that we've outfitted over the past 18, 20 years, however long it's been. I've always taken pride in helping them, those gym owners, in any way I possibly could to, to, to grow their businesses. So obviously when they're being shut down by their governors, they were having a lot of issues and a lot of problems. Some of them didn't know, is it best to ignore the orders? Is it, there was, there's a lot going on with that. So through April, May, and June, I was probably spending between 25 and 35 hours a week speaking with gym owners that we helped outfit to be able to navigate you know, their, their path moving moving forward that's probably a whole nother video in itself each one of those are different situations you know and how and and, and a, a lar very large percentage of them are no longer in business so a lot of that was navigating when and how to move out of the industry and what to do after that so my priority was to, to them then way more so than the 20 hours a week I was spending answering every DM I got on my own Instagram, especially after, you know, I don't want to vent and rant, but especially after getting hundreds of them apologizing for not, not wanting to support the business after spending years and years answering hundreds of their questions beforehand. But that comes with the territory. So, you know, that to say that didn't play a part of any of this would be it would be a lie, you know, to be able to do that. But I understand that comes with the industry. But the choice there that I'm trying to make was to to allocate my time in helping those people that were losing their business compared to that same number, same time writing micro blogs for my Instagram, which really wasn't doing a lot of anything except using my time from that standpoint. That's where that was. So then during this whole time, this landscape of retail has been very interesting to say the least. And I'll just leave it at that. Leave it at that. You know, it's, it's not, 
I'm not going to sit here and complain a bitch because a lot of businesses haven't been able to navigate through all of that. You know, we have, but I'm also, it's not what people think where, oh, that's great. You know, you're, you're in the home gym market. You're, you're making a killing right now. I wish, you know, I wish to make a killing. You got to be able to have product to got to be to be able to have product. You got to be able to have suppliers that, that make a decision to not sell direct to consumer, which, so there's a whole other part of my time was navigating around different suppliers because suppliers kept cutting people off so they could make essentially make more just selling direct to consumer. And there's a lot of other factors that come into there too. <clears throat> so I had to focus on the business, I guess, to, to put it mildly or concisely. Their adductors, bam, they're gonna fucking cramp like a motherfucker. You'll remember this birthday the rest of your life. <laughs>